Hey guys. Now, um, disclaimer at the beginning. Oh, take one. This is take one. Um, disclaimer at the beginning. My thoughts and opinions. And um, I swear. Right. Now, I just wanted to, you know, like I've been saying recently, a lot of stuff that, you know, like the things have been removed from me as a human being that have forced me to uh, realise who the fuck I am, right? <laughs> so, so I, I, over these past two years, I've got fuck all to do with the Rona. It's absolutely nothing to do with them guys up there. It's literally this whole thing of being ripped out of my comfort zone and um so this past year since yeah yeah this past year we've literally had so much weird shit happen and a lot of it funnily enough um has been in my sleep right um and a lot of my dreams have been like you remember this thing you did when when this, and you remember that one? Remember when you did this? Remember when you were that? You know, like, it's like, yeah, all right, okay. So, and before I became a mother even, and that was young, I was 18 when I gave birth, um, 17 when I got knocked up, like, uh, please don't judge me on that, like, literally, look up, I don't even know if it's online anymore, actually, but I did a, a documentary for Channel 4 called Let's Talk Sex with Davina McCall about sex education in school. Why we've not gone back to this, I don't know. Again, another thing that I did that it, like, that makes me up. I said to some bloke on Facebook like weeks ago, like, yeah, but you don't know my backstory. And he went, yes, I do. You got hacked last year, by, and it's like me. Oh, have a fucking word with yourself. Serious shit has happened in my life that I don't just don't talk about. Because right now, this is, you know, like everything that I've put on YouTube, I did as a direct result of what I'm about to talk to you now, which is another thing that I just never say to anybody, right? So I'm going to stick it in for reference. Um, and anybody that was there at the time, because I don't know any of these people anymore, because what I do is I tend to get myself into a part of something and then... Usually I piss people off to be fair and then I go on to a different thing. I've never really, I don't stay with the same thing in my whole life. So I don't remember who a lot of the people that have been in my life. I don't remember ODR and I'm really sorry about that. It's just how my life has happened in for, for, for the last 51 years. I've no, never had any say in it. Like now, obviously... I'm at this age, I'm like, nah, I don't mean, nah, I, I realise that I'm not speaking to them anymore, but, I should, anyways, right, okay, Whew. let's get to the point, so 15 years ago, roughly, give or take, I um, decided to ask what I call, what I have learnt to call the all- the universal energy that we're part of. That's what I, that's my God, right? I don't call it God because God to me sounds like you're saying it's an entity that's separate from you. And that's, nah, uh -uh. me, you, everybody, we're all a part of God, in my personal opinion. From what I've been taught when I act, wrong finger when I've asked for help do you know what I mean I've been like look just tell me what the fuck it is that you want me to know and point me in the right direction make it help me make sense to it sense of it and put me in the direction where people can actually hear what I have to say that's my job with all oh fuck this ain't going anywhere near 
where I want it to go because um, this right now, what I'm saying right now, if I, I will do another video where I explain how I became to do video. No, fuck it. Let's just roll through. We're five minutes in. Like, yeah, let's just roll through. So basically, <coughs> um, in 2015 years ago, basically, 2007, it was 2007, and I basically, I've got to stop saying basically, but that's fair. That's not a lack of vocabulary. You know I have vocabulary. That is fair. I say basically and literally because I am scared of speaking to this little dot because occasionally it comes to my mind that actually one day somebody's going to actually look at my face and see what I'm doing now and then I'll panic and I say words like literally and basically and but yeah but basically and it is I'm sure it's not just that it can't be just that this isn't just an epiphany I've had because it can't be but this is the first time. Shut your face. Yes, I've been drinking. Um, right. So, what I'm trying to say. Back in 2007, I decided that I was going to ask. Not decided that I was going to ask. That, that sounds too specific. Basically, I said to my partner at the time, been single for 12 years this year, lads, ladies, former Lord like you, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I've had enough of being single now. Um, but let's face it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I said to my partner and I said to my best friend, I have asked, I want to know what uh the bible means right and literally so I, I told my partner then i told my best friend then the next day i had a knock on my door from a jehovah's witness let's call her audrey for twas her name and she said like do you want to learn about the bible and i'm like you would be really fucking shocked by this i don't Yes, yes, this is how I got into it, right? So, basically, so I said to her, oh, I'm sorry, like, my eyes are ugly, I put me up, but I, I need to, I need to touch myself. So, yeah, so basically, I had this lady knock on the door and she's like, do you want a Bible study call? I'm like, you would not believe, <laughs> like, the coincidence of this. Um, so I embarked upon a year and a half long Bible study course with the Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Because that's what I'd asked for. I wanted to know whether the Bible was shit. Anyways, um, she, uh, we, we, it was right back at the beginning of the Bible study course. Um, and... So just some it didn't ring true. So I decided to research on my computer when she'd left uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses, right? And, um, oh, fucking kabummy, panic. Um, so, yeah, so she'd gone and I was like, no, hold on a minute, this just doesn't sound right. So I Googled it and some it came up and I'm like, mm, right, okay, so Jehovah's Witnesses, mm, you know, like, not not like Christianity, <laughs> like the Catholic Church. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're talking different, yeah, we all know that, well, we don't. Right, so um, I Googled this stuff Milecki went and um so I went and put some Lecky on Mickey card whatever brought it back put it in and a pop up I, I, I'm not 100% sure that this is the exact timeline of what happened but at some point in time 
the pop-up came up because back in them days we used to have pop-ups <laughs> oh, in the old world oldie weldy poppy uppies and uh, a pop-up came up for loose change about 9-11 and that was basically my first foray into conspiracy theory i was looking for god and to be fair i feel like i found god that's the craziest part of the whole fandango is that in the end i felt like i actually found god and it's the most beautiful feeling in the world and that's by the by right so at this particular time 15 years ago i asked what is the Bible about? I was sent a Jehovah's Witness. A year and a half later, they kicked me out, crying my fucking heart out. The woman, Audrey, bless her sweet little heart, she has to be dead now, bless her. All of that, Fandango. She, I did love her, and she did love me. She just wasn't allowed to love me, and she left me. She came and tag-teamed with another Jehovah's Witness when she said, look, you, you're not learning. You're not moving on. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry, but you can't move on past Genesis. And it's like, right, OK, well, I've got people that can move on past Genesis. So my time is theirs. Let's put it that way. I was fucking sobbing my heart out. These two Jehovah's Witness ladies left my house. They sat there. And they looked at me with hatred in their face as I was sobbing my heart out. I sat there and I'm like to these ladies, look, I, I, I'm i sorry, but I can't get past this. I would rather, if I'm like not be religious and just live my life for love. All I want is to live my life Loving other people, putting other people before myself. That's what makes me happy. That's what floats my fucking boat, baby. And they looked at me and they were like, no, if you are not prepared. But ultimately, like this is paraphrasing, they never said this at all. Nothing close. But the ultimate premise is that if I am not prepared to say... Jesus did this for me, like, and I believe he existed. If I'm not prepared to say, I believe this geezer existed, I'm going to hell. But, I <laughs> forget, anyways, right? So, where were we? So, back in the day, uh, I got with this Jehovah's Witness one day, walked away. It might have been at the same time we were doing the Jehovah's Witnesses. We had the Mormons, because I like to invite them all myself, right? Um, but somebody had said to me, so I, and it's got to be the Mormons, Joseph Smith, whichever one's Joseph Smith's info, that's the one that I was looking for online. I went looking for it. It's like, hold on a minute, this geezer sounds dodgy as fuck. And Mileki went. So I went to the shop, came back, um, pop up of loose change, 9-11. I'm like, shit, that is so fucking obvious. Why have I, why did I not get this memo, right? So I joined this website. I'm not going to say what the website is or any what anybody's names are, right? Um, obviously, I did that with Audrey, but like it's only the first name, and you know, I might give first names. Nobody knows who it is, right? This is fucking fifteen years ago. I went and followed this little rabbit hole, found this website it was a chat group it was a news an alternative news website but there was a forum in there this is the first and only to my knowledge may not have been the only forum i've been in but it's the only one that i remember anyways i'm in there people are like who the fuck are you 
because I'm like, well, obviously this is bullshit. I dived in there. I just went in there to see. And so it's like I say, 9-11 was probably the first conspiracy theory that I ever got in, quickly followed by the moon. And it's like, right, okay. Certain things on certain conspiracy theories, I'm like, right, okay, get me past this, get me past that, then we'll talk. Then we'll talk. I have that on most things, right? Anyways, I'm there and they're like, who, who the fuck are you and whatever. So I, this website was run by the geezer who used to run David Ark's website. And one of the moderators, like, contacted me personally and said, like, look, the world, the country, whatever, needs a... Uh, this is 15 years ago. Uh, basically, we need a new... Uh, we need a female David Icke. And if you do that, if you do what David Icke is doing, you're going to be fucking minted. You're going to be so fucking rich. And I was given an hour-long speaking spot before, like, the, the geezer who ran it, right? I, his name was Mick, Mike, Michael, um, something like that, right? And I loved him. Like, but he's one of these things. It's like I, I was in this group of people and... I'm not anymore. This is what happened. So the group of people I'm in at the minute, I'm so fucking sorry because I love you all so much. But it just seems to have been a theme in my life. Anyway, so I was told, like, right, okay, you know, like, you can have an hour that you, you're going to be speaking for free, but the person going on after you isn't. And so, like, you do this speaking thing now... And then, you know, like, we, you know, like, it's going to happen that you'll gain the traction and all of this fandango. You can do the advertising and whatever. And I, shortly after that, my car dropped dead. Well, it wasn't that my car dropped dead. It was the fact that I couldn't afford to re-MOT insure my car and whatever. So, and also at that point in time, I got diagnosed with MS. So I'm like, right, okay, well, everything has just been, it was a proper tower moment. Like, literally, I just, I just, I got myself in this place in my world where, boff, everybody was going to know Kerry ann how it made. So says Kerry through the fucking roof. Boff, every, everything took. And I didn't mind that because I always said, I, well, not always said, well, shut your fucking face. Right. I said at the time that it was okay because I could stand there and I could do an hour's talk. I could tell you for, for I could chat with you for an hour about how the moon landing is a hoax, just like I could the day that I found out that some of were fucking wrong. We could talk about it. For fucking ever, right? But when I finish talking, people are going to ask questions. And the hilarious thing, this is even for I fucking knew anything about it being out to do with the Freemasons, right? I said, I need to go away and learn my craft. That's what I said to myself and my, my close little group. I'm like, no, I need to learn my craft. I need to be able to stand there and look anybody in the face and explain or say to them, obviously, the alternative. So just say, like, look, I, you know, like, I don't know this, right? I don't know this particular thing. Let me find somebody who can answer that question. But the shit that I know, the shit that I, I am... I can now, I now have the confidence that I can look, I could look fucking Bill Gates in the eye and make him fucking piss his pants. I have no doubt about it, mate. Because, well, it'd have to be behind closed doors. Because, no, 
but well, nobody else would understand. But he'd he'd know, he'd know where I was sent from and what I'm here to do and shit like that. Anyway, so my point is of this video is that 15 years ago I was given the opportunity I was told I was actively encouraged in a group that follows this dude you can be the next this dude you could be the female this dude you could make money and here I am 15 years on and all of those people still know I exist. I don't know who any of them are anymore. Ain't fucking seen him in 15 years. 15 years ago, they were licking my ring piece. They were like, who are you? The amount of people who've come to me in my life and gone, who are you? And it's like, and then I'm there on Facebook and we've got people going just fucking, yeah, right. I know your uh, backstory. You got hacked by a Nigerian scammer last year. Yeah, that's my backstory, my darling. That is my backstory. Uh, yeah, so another thing that I've basically realised, you know, I do have a backstory and I am not going to, I'm not going to back down. I am not going to back down. I'm going to join with the people who go, do you know what? I don't care who you are. Don't care when you first came fucking into enlightenment, enlightenment or whatever it is that I've spent this 15 years being. I don't judge anybody who ain't spent 15 years doing this. Why would anybody who fucking last fucking year, month realised that Madonna's face is a bit wanky, look down on me. It's another thing that we need to put right and we will put it right because we need to be working together and realising that we are all on the same team. And, yeah. David Icke's about up there, bless his little heart. And, like, no offence, cracking fella. If you ever wanted to collaborate, mate, bring it on. Like, literally, collaborate the fork out of shit. It's like, but I don't see anybody wanting to do that. Like, people are just like, oh, no, no, no. Like, I must tell you what you must do. Well, here am I saying, let's discuss it. You tell me what you think you want me to do. I'll tell you what I think we should do. We all come to a fucking agreement together. This is... I don't think I'd ever have done... I mean, thank, thank fuck my car broke down and all of this fandango and I got diagnosed with MS and that kind of fandango. But it's like, nah, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. I used that as an excuse. I used MS and losing my car as an excuse. I am not built for that world. I'm not built for the self-promotion um, route for the... For the um, Profit. I ain't built for profit. It's like, I'm never charge you a penny. I'm never going to sell you anything. I will give you things. Like, literally. I do things like just crochet fucking love hearts, right? And <laughs> I just leave them places. This is the woman that you're dealing with. I am incurably... Gay. Well, not gay as in sex and some smear. Some smear. You know, like, not, you're not like gay. Am I allowed to say gay? Are you even allowed to say gay anymore? I don't think you're allowed to say penis and vagina anymore. You're certainly not allowed to say black and white anymore because the world has gone fucking nuts. Stop being by one. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, 
talk to me in the comments. I love you. You love me. We are hopefully one day to be happy a family. Love you.